The gentleman sitting in the gazebo is the gentleman that called into our dispatch center, the first call that you heard. Uh, during this time, uh, the view that the, the caller has, that, that's what prompts the call, and that's a description that he gives us. The, the call times and the uh, video is consistent. They, they match up with each other. That's the, blur, the blurred uh, vision that you see up there is uh, someone that we have not identified yet, and um, we're, we're not going to show that but that is someone that we need to talk to that has not been identified. It's uh, Tamir reaching in, uh, talking on his cell phone. Our caller is no longer in the gazebo. He's uh, walked away. Uh, members of the division are dispatched and making their way to this location, and they arrive at uh, 1530. The, the release of this video uh, in no means is an effort to try to explain the actions of the Division of Police or of the young man. Um, we, we are honoring the wishes of the family in releasing this and also in the spirit of being open and uh, fair with our community. Approximately 
Three minutes and 49 seconds after that took place, there was a first district detective along with an FBI agent that were working in the first district and they were working a bank robbery detail. They heard the assignment and they responded to the scene and provided first aid. Uh, the FBI agent is a nationally registered paramedic. So uh, Tamir was given first aid uh, under in under four minutes and approximately three minutes after that, our emergency service medical unit uh, EMS showed up and they provided uh, medical service to the young man.